everybody, welcome back. It is April 8th. Um, the building project is in full swing over there and I thought I would sneak away for a little while and plant some things in the garden. They don't need my help right this moment, or hardly at all actually, which has been really great. <laughs> but we're doing gardening video today, the first gardening video of spring 2021 and I'm a little bit behind actually because of the building project and because of the weather and just things just happen. But anyway, today I am planting some really fun seeds. Let me flip the camera. Here are my supplies today. I've got some Espoma Garden Tone and some new garden gloves. I go through a couple pairs a season. I have radish white. I'm really excited to try these. Eight to ten weeks before your first fall frost date. Huh. This must be a fall crop. Well, I'm gonna try it in the spring. <laughs> I might not plant the whole package because that does seem a little odd. Actually, I'm not gonna be planting these. And it says my soil needs to be between 65 and 85 degrees, and it's not even 85 degrees outside yet, so that ain't gonna work. Read your seed packets. <laughs> I've got two kinds of radishes. I am gonna be planting these today. This is just an early scarlet globe. Planted these last year, they were so yummy. Days to harvest 20 to 30. And radish Easter egg blend. Soil temperature above 65 to 85 degrees. Four to six weeks before your average frost date. So this is a little sketchy. Because we're not up to 65 to 85 degrees above ground yet even. So, but we are within the four to six weeks before the last frost date. So we'll give it a try. I thought I would do a little kale. Two to one to two weeks before your average frost date, so it's a little early for the kale, but we'll get started. And just some peas. 58 days till harvest. That seems like a long time right now. Everybody's here to help. Rabbit loves fancy. They are friends. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go get some dirt. We're gonna be planting in this old cake bin today. I have never planted in here before. I'm really excited about it. I just got it last year. I'm gonna add some soil to the top. And I think I'm also going to plant the kale in with the garlic. And the peas, they go in that one over there. So let me go grab my soil.
a nice evening in the garden in the spring. Feels really good to get out and plant something, put some mulch around the strawberries and asparagus back here, planted some peas in the back. Uh, had a little bit of mulch left over so I threw that on the raspberry bush. I need to put some more on the raspberry bush. On my permanent plants like strawberries, asparagus, raspberries, um, I go ahead and I mulch really thick and then I don't have as much trouble with manure weeds or actually any kind of weeds at all. Um, if they do manage to poke their heads up through the thick mulch, then they're very easy to pull. And it also helps with moisture retention, because sometimes I'm a little lax in my watering and things dry out a little more than they should. Hopefully we will get a drip system in this year and that problem will be fixed. But I am going to take myself back to the house because I actually have hamburger on the stove that I left and I have probably been gone too long but I'm gonna turn it into enchiladas and if you like my videos and want to see more spring videos because it is almost spring hi kitty or if you just want to see more of the cute animals Cadbury's over there under the four-wheeler I don't know if you can see him <sighs> decided to name him Cadbury have to use your imagination on that one but if you like more of my videos want to see more please subscribe like comment share all of the above and i'll see you in the next video